Hi guys, I want to talk about gloves. Uh, some people don't like wearing them. I, I didn't really like it, but my fingernails started dropping to bits with constant use of washing up liquid. I know, I know some of you just entirely um, do water fed. Uh, I still do a lot of trad, as you call it. So the washing up liquid and whatever you use gets into your nails and that. So I thought I'd get some uh, gloves. And they're the, um, what do you call it, gloves, like latex. I've got some on, look. Okay, I thought, oh great, but they don't half make your hands sweat. But now it's cooler, they're okay. It was just in summer when it's really hot, they, they were terrible, you know. But I persevered to try and protect my nails. And uh, this is the brand I got, there's all sorts of brands, uh, cheap enough. But the only thing about them was that they didn't last five minutes. You catch them on anything and it destroys them. So I got to thinking, now it's cooler. Well, I had some of these. They're like warrior gloves. Okay, you've probably seen them before. They're like these sort of things here. Very, very, very lightweight. They're not for keeping your hands warm in winter or anything. I'll come to that in a bit. These are like a, a canvas and the palm's been dipped in something, but they're not waterproof at all. But if you put a set of these over the top of these latex ones, these latex ones can last a lot longer. You need to just keep turning them inside out though, uh, to dry them out, etc. But instead of lasting one day, you'll get a couple of days or more out of them. So these are the dead light, these warrior ones. You slap them over the top and they just last and last. And these warrior ones are dead light. Having said that, in winter, I've got some old flipping gloves here, but if you put these on with some of these, it will make any glove waterproof. Some old ones here, woolly ones, with um, rubber palms. Um, these are beginning to perish, as you can see, but with these on, totally waterproof. Well, they're not waterproof, but the water won't get through here. So that's it. That's all I need to say about that, really. If you can bear gloves at all, I've got used to it now. Um, the good thing about these ones, though, these warrior ones, is that they're not too thick. And it's not too cold yet, and you can, you know, feel things. If your keys and all that sort of thing, clamps on the pole, whatever. So, that's it, if you want to make any glove waterproof, that's the way to do it. So that's it, it's getting windy. So I've done.